Serenity and madness. How I feel about living in Thailand. I feel very peaceful and calm underneath. It's like a violent and hidden voices. So the show is a personal reflection of this uh, beauty and darkness in Thailand for the past, let's say, 15 years. Yeah. And it's a show that travels from uh, my town in Chiang Mai. We just wrapped that and Hong Kong is the second place. Yeah. And I'm really excited to share this piece. It helped me so much to look at movies in different way, to deal with space, uh, both uh, in the film itself and also the space of the audience, yeah. uh, and also time, because I also think architecture is also uh, deal with time when you experience the, the space. Yeah. So, uh, in my very early works, experimental film, they are very you can see a uh, big influence from architecture thinking and philosophy of looking at time in terms of uh, like structure of buildings. Yeah. I ran into the censorship problem only one time in 2007 with one of the films. Uh, but it was so painful experience because I was just fought for my kid like this film and it lasts for a year. Like I formed a free Thai cinema movement group to protest and try to change the law. So as a creative person, you, you cannot help but feel uh, like there's this push or there's this line that you have to walk, you have to follow the, you know, this block. And I feel that um, that's kind of like, uh, I've said the way that is there other way out of this or how to challenge this and and it gets uh, kind of dangerous because for the past two years we uh, are ruled by the army yeah. uh, and so for me at this moment I was more interested in looking back of the history of Thailand and the northeast where I came from to, to see the hidden stories and uh, the political struggle of, of what contribute to the recent mess on the street. So instead of attacking directly, you know, the army now, for example, so I just uh, talk to people and to go to places that uh, has some uh, clashes between the government and the, the uprising groups. So, yeah, so for me, it's, it's a personal journey uh, to learn about my own identity. I try to be mindful. I meditate through meeting people and sketches. Everything is uh, like a performance. And also, I keep records of my dreams. <laughs> because I think it's really, it's like another cinema that Sometimes we overlook because because it's just at night and then we throw away, we forgot. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's, it's pretty fascinating what happened. It's our own light, our own cinema. Mm -hmm. And then I try to apply this to, to filmmaking. The work reflect my life, the interest. It needs a lot of people to help. It's almost become an excuse for me to, to interact because I'm really introvert. So it's like forcing myself to interact to be able to finish the film. And along the way, uh, have many friends and uh, encounter this crew member and actors. And their story influenced my work. So everything has become more like a uh, creating family and to record what happened or what you remember, not only for me but also for for the loved ones around me. Yeah. <laughs> I 
I watched the Jungle Book, the one uh, that the set everything almost uh, digitally created, mm -hmm. and I was really amazed by the beauty and the, the labor that they put into the pixel. Yeah.